Oh, I thought we'd done it. I thought yeah. we'd done. <laughs> yeah, it's a very difficult time. Uh, you know, the, the COVID pandemic has affected everyone, you know, and it's been very, very difficult for everyone. And we're all very conscious of that. It's affected health, it's affected income streams. It's affected, uh, you know, mood, temperament, um, and of course, if you're a young player playing rugby, it's affected your ability to get out there and play rugby because rugby's been on, on on shutdown. So, of course, uh, the knock-on effect of that is uh, that's affected my role in terms of being able to spot talent, particularly um, in and around the region. Um, but also, part of my role is to lift rocks and trying to identify talent outside of our region, um, particularly if it's Welsh qualified talent. Having said that, from time to time, when we identify standout talent, particularly if it's in an area of, uh, of need for us, you know, if it's uh, in our succession planning, our depth chart, you know, a talent pyramid, there's a, there's a space there for someone with the sort of attributes we identify, then, um, you know, that's the sort of player we will target. Uh, and that could be on a global basis as well. So what's been interesting about the backdrop of the pandemic is, you know, it's given us an opportunity to reach out and build greater relationships, uh, build our network, our talent ID network uh, in the traditional way, but also in a, in a high tech way, really. There's a couple of new tech platforms that we engage with and people we engage with about uh, talent ID. Uh, it's got fil certain filters on there as well, which will allow us to identify Welsh talent, notwithstanding that we need to do all the background checks that we would have traditionally done anyway. So there's a new way of working. Um, you know, there's some exciting new developments, but in terms of my player pathway role, is to support our indigenous talent and our academy manager, Garth Walters, uh, the academy coaches who are doing a a fantastic job to develop and uh, nurture our indigenous talent but it's also to lift rocks uh, work with the Welsh Rugby Union XL's manager for example and my own contacts to identify Welsh qualified players and outstanding non-Welsh qualified players that could potentially enter the player pathway program or even uh, be candidates to be signed for the senior team. Yeah, um, Zoom call, it's been testing my IT skills, uh, Teams meetings, uh, webinars, um, suddenly uh, having to work my way through those, but it's been very exciting as well, you know, it's, it's really uh, given me a new opportunity to, to work in a new way, to engage in a new way, to create greater awareness of uh, the player pathway program to try and help to reverse the trend, you know, we've had players from our region, outstanding players from our region that have headed into England, for example, you know, to uh, fee paying schools there, to clubs in England, uh, to colleges in England. So now we're able to show and demonstrate fully our commitment to linking education to our rugby program, our outstanding rugby program. Um, we've got a fantastic relationship with Swansea University. Um, James Hook, Hugo Staffson run a great rugby program down there. All the, uh, you know, the people in Swansea University have been very supportive of around our uh, partnership and promoting uh, Swansea University and the Ospreys link uh, very strongly. It's helped us to go into England, for example, and attract talent and help the Swansea University rugby coaches to attract talent into their rugby program. And uh, we're all very excited about that because that gives us another layer that is really part of our player pathway program so everyone playing at Swans University for example is very much on the radar of the Ospreys uh, through the player pathway program and also you know through our local colleges uh, raising awareness for the courses there it's given us time to examine those and explore those uh, the educational links there. And when rugby resumes, that's something we're going to be, you know, very hot on, trying to demonstrate and great, create greater awareness to uh, the Player Pathway Program players that we have educational opportunities and links to local colleges and apprenticeships. Because one injury, and uh, unfortunately, our dreams uh, 
can disappear and evaporate. You know, it's a, it's a very challenging sport, this, and a very challenging profession. So making sure that education uh, and awareness of educational opportunities are linked to a rugby programme is something I'm keen to promote, uh, you know, via the Ospreys route. Yeah, look, uh, again, part of the new way of working is I've been able to attend and speak on the um, Ospreys uh, Business Club uh, meetings, our monthly meetings. Uh, it's been very entertaining. We've had a lot of uh, legendary ex Ospreys players on uh, on the calls, uh, updating us with their business uh, developments and progress uh, since they finished playing rugby. It's given me the opportunity to update our sponsors on the PPP, the Player Pathway Programme, and you know the developments there, both um, intrinsically with our own players coming through our region, but also externally with uh, opportunities and players that we've identified that we might want to bring in on trial. And you know it's tough for those businesses. Everyone's you know telling uh, telling us about the tough difficulties uh, that they have in to maintain uh, their businesses. Uh, it was such a difficult backdrop. Uh, but everyone's been innovative and everyone's showing uh, huge uh, robustness really at difficult times and everyone's supporting each other. I think that's really important. And you know, I've they've, certainly our Osprey supporters have demonstrated uh, and sponsors have demonstrated their support for me, uh, the Ospreys and the Player Pathway in particular. Uh, by becoming uh, a number of them becoming inaugural uh, sponsors of the Player Pathway program, the PPP. We've created a new funding model and a new fund in particular, um, and that's been drawn down of, of late, if you like, to allow me now to be even more ambitious with uh, targeting the players outside on the external part of our player pathway. Uh, and we've now got a position through the support of our new sponsors to be able to offer trial periods to some outstanding young players um, using that funding that we wouldn't have been able to access previously, uh, particularly with a difficult backdrop we have with no spectators in, this, in the stadium, hitting our, you know, our funding stream, our income streams. So to have the support of the inaugural PPP sponsors is absolutely fantastic and I want to thank them. Uh, wholeheartedly for their support and I think they'll be pleased when they hear that there's a bit of good news around the corner about some of those project players being able to trial with us and be seen uh, in and around our environment to be benchmarked.